To build the 6.8-kilometre Takitimu North Link Expressway, engineers are moving 3 million cubic metres of earth and building 10 massive bridges with foundations driven 55 metres deep, the height of a 15-storey building. This colossal project in New Zealand's Bay of Plenty is designed to solve a life-or-death problem. But this is no ordinary construction site. The ground is soft and unstable, threatening to swallow the road whole. Deep below the surface, engineers have hit unknown conditions, forcing them to build more powerful tools on the spot just to prove their foundations are safe. So how do you conquer a landscape that fights back at every turn? For years, the existing State Highway 2 has been the main artery for the Bay of Plenty, a region that is a powerhouse of the New Zealand economy. It is home to the port of Tauranga, the country's largest export port by volume, and forms a critical part of the Golden Triangle, connecting the economic hubs of Auckland, Hamilton and Tauranga. But this vital lifeline has been choking. For years, it has also been a place of tragedy. Between 2009 and 2018, this stretch of road saw 27 people lose their lives and another 77 seriously injured. It is a road buckling under the pressure of explosive growth. Every day, 20,000 vehicles crawl along this route, a number that is growing by 2 to 3 percent every single year. Projections show that daily traffic crossing the main Wairoa Bridge is expected to surge to over 30,000 by 2031. With the local population set to grow by 16,000 people in the next 20 years, the daily gridlock has become horrific for commuters, leading to missed flights, lost work hours and constant uncertainty. A simple fix was never an option. The region needed a completely new artery, one designed from the ground up for safety and efficiency. But building it would push modern engineering to its absolute limits. The first and biggest challenge was the ground itself. Much of the land along the new route is soft, unstable soil, completely unsuitable for supporting a massive highway. Building directly on top of it would be like building a house on pudding. It would sink and fail. To solve this, engineers deployed a clever technique on a massive scale. They installed 800,000 linear meters of what are called wick drains. You can think of these as giant, flat plastic straws with a special filter fabric stuck deep into the earth. As heavy loads of soil were piled on top to form the road's foundation, the immense weight squeezed the trapped water out of the soft ground. The wick drains gave that water a quick and easy path to escape. This process sped up the ground settlement from something that could take decades to just a few months, creating a solid and stable base for the road. To make sure everything was working as planned, the ground was filled with a network of high-tech sensors. Instruments called piezometers measured water pressure, while inclinometers detected any sideways movement, and profilometers tracked the settlement. This constant stream of data gave engineers a real-time picture of what was happening deep underground, allowing them to react to information coming directly from the site and design more efficiently. But solving the problem under their feet was only half the battle. Next, they had to conquer the air, spanning vast valleys and culturally significant rivers with structures of concrete and steel. The project requires the construction of 10 new bridges, with some rising 25 metres into the air, as tall as an eight-storey building. The most impressive of these is the Wairoa Awa Bridge. This enormous structure stretches 355 metres across the Wairoa River Valley. To secure its foundations, crews had to drive massive steel and concrete piles 55 metres into the earth. That is like burying a 15-storey building underground just to hold the bridge up. The bridge deck itself is supported by 80 enormous concrete beams, each weighing many tons. The logistics were so complex that the team first had to build a large temporary bridge across the river just to get the heavy machinery and materials into position to build the final permanent one. In a smart move, this temporary bridge was recycled from another major project in Auckland, saving time and resources. For another key bridge, the Cambridge Road Overbridge, they used an ingenious top-down method. Instead of closing the busy local road for months, they built the bridge deck at the existing ground level while traffic continued to flow. Only after the bridge was finished did they excavate millions of cubic metres of earth from underneath, carving out a path for the new expressway to pass through. 
this clever thinking saved the local community countless hours of disruption. Another complex site is the Minden Interchange, which is not a single bridge, but a collection of four interconnected structures that weave together to provide on and off ramps for the new highway. Building a highway is not just about going over obstacles, it is also about managing what flows under them. The new road's path crosses numerous streams and gullies, requiring 19 culverts to be built. These are not just simple pipes. One of the largest, the Oturu culvert, is a massive concrete structure 32 meters wide, with a floor over a meter thick. It is so big it is more like a short, wide bridge than a typical culvert. It is designed to handle a 1 in 100 year flood, ensuring the highway remains safe and does not cause flooding even in extreme weather. Critically, the floor of the culvert is not smooth concrete. It is designed to feel like a natural stream bed, a technique called stream simulation. This allows native fish, like the culturally significant longfin tuna or eel and the banded kokopu, to travel safely up and down the stream, protecting the local ecosystem. To manage rainwater running off the new road, seven new wetlands are being created. These are not just ponds, they are engineered ecosystems that act as natural filters, capturing runoff, slowing it down, and cleaning it before the water returns to the environment. During construction, 34 sediment retention ponds are used to capture any runoff from the worksite, ensuring the nearby streams stay clean. In a bit of fun, the construction crews even gave these ponds human names, with five in one area named after the Spice Girls. All of this complex construction, from the underground drains to the soaring bridges, was planned and perfected before a single shovel hit the dirt, thanks to a groundbreaking piece of technology. The design team, led by consultants Becker, used what is called a digital twin. This is a highly detailed, data-rich 3D virtual model of the entire project. It included every single element, the precise alignment of the road, the structural components of the bridges, the layout of drainage pipes, and even the location of environmental plantings. This virtual model allowed engineers, landscape architects, and construction planners to collaborate in one digital space. They could test designs, identify potential problems where different parts of the project might clash, and optimize the entire construction plan before any real-world work began. The results were incredible. By using the digital twin to plan the most efficient routes for moving soil, the project team was able to eliminate an estimated 22,000 heavy truck movements from local roads. This saved 900,000 kilometers of driving, which dramatically reduced the project's carbon footprint lowered fuel costs, and minimized traffic disruption, noise, and dust for the local community. This project is not just about engineering the land, it is about respecting it. The commitment to the environment goes beyond managing water. Before construction began, teams of ecologists carefully relocated over 130 indigenous lizards and more than 13,000 native fish to new safe habitats away from the construction zone. And when the road is finished, a massive restoration effort will see over 900,000 native plants put into the ground along the corridor, creating new habitats and green buffers. This work is deeply connected to the local culture. The name, Takatimu Northlink, was gifted by local Maori tribes and honors the Takatimu Waka, an ancestral canoe that is central to their history. The route itself follows traditional pathways that once connected coastal and inland settlements. The project has been a true partnership with local hapu, or sub-tribes like Nati Ranginui and Pirirakau, from the very beginning. This relationship is formalized in a cultural mitigation plan and protocols, which are a binding part of the construction contract. This ensures that cultural values and knowledge are respected throughout construction creating a piece of infrastructure that not only serves the future, but also honors the past. But a project of this size and importance rarely comes without its share of roadblocks. The cost for the first stage alone is a massive $655 million. The project has faced significant delays due to the pandemic, challenges in acquiring land, and the rising costs of materials and labor, pushing the original completion date back to 2028. 
the second stage of the project, which will extend the expressway even further to the growing community of Omakoroa, was controversially deferred by a previous government before being reinstated as a national priority, leaving the community in a state of uncertainty for a time. To help pay for the massive cost of construction and ongoing maintenance, the government has confirmed that the new road will be tolled. This decision has sparked debate among locals in a city that already has two of New Zealand's three other toll roads. The proposed tolls for just the first stage would be over $3 for a car during peak hours. Despite the hurdles, the Takatimu North Link is now more than halfway complete and is already transforming the landscape. It stands as a powerful example of how engineering can solve critical problems, blending technical innovation with deep respect for the natural and cultural environment. What do you think of this incredible engineering project? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this look at a modern mega project, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds, and turn on notifications so you never miss our next story.